us study the parts of non-recording rain gauge. Non-recording rain gauge consists of a collector and a funnel with the polythene bottle. The polythene bottle can be 2 liters, 4 liters or 10 liters. There is a concrete foundation base and the dimensions are as shown here. These dimensions are as per IS 5225. 1992 reformed in 2003. Now let's calculate the capacity of rain gauge. That is how much rain it can store. The collector area which is 200 centimeters here. This is the collector and you can see and this is the this is the area here. We can keep bottle capacity 2 liter, 4 liter, 10 liter. Let's assume this bottle is of 2 liters. How much rainfall it can store. So that we can calculate if we divide this 2 liters divided by 200 centimeters square so it will give depth of the rainfall which the gauge can store. We know 1 liter is equal to 1000 centimeter cube. Convert this 2 liters into 2000 centimeter cube divided by 200 centimeters square which will give 10 centimeters of rainfall. So this rain gauge with collector area of 200 centimeters square and the bottle capacity of 2 liter can store 24 hour rainfall of 10 centimeter. Now similarly this you can see this is uh, I have calculated for 2 liters but you can calculate for 4 liters and with different character areas. So this is the normal capacity of rain gauge in centimeters of rain. How do we measure rainfall? So a man comes daily at 8.30 am. He opens the rain gauge, takes out the bottle and then jar along and then measure the rainfall, whatever rainfall in past 24 hours, measures with this jar and then he records it. If rainfall is likely to exceed the capacity of the bottle, then two or three intermediate reading can be taken and their sum has to be recorded as rainfall of past 24 hours. Thank you very much.